पाए डी बाई थ्री प्लस साइन फाइव पाई बाई फोर डी ओके सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द फंडामेंटल फ्रीक्वेंसी वट वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट हेयर द फंडामेंटल फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर सिग्नल सो लेट एस सी हाउ टू सॉल्व इट सिंस एक्स ऑफ टी इज गिवन दैट वी हैव टू राइट देन एज यू नो दैट दिस कॉस टी सो दिस कोफिशेंट इज ओमेगा सो आई हैव नेम इट ओमेगा वन then this coefficient is omega 2 so we have omega 1 and omega 2 so we have to write here omega 1 equals to 10 pi by 3 that omega 1 equals to 10 pi by 3 then omega 2 equals to then omega 2 equals to 5 pi by 4 right so here omega what is omega then by formula omega is 2 pi by t so i have written here is 2 pi by t1 that equals to 10 pi by 3 right so here 2 pi by 3 t1 equals 10 pi by 3 so let us simplify this one after simplifying this we have to we obtained what t1 equals to 2 into 3 by 10 that is 2 into 3 and this 10 is divided here okay so cross by uh, applying the cross multiplication method here we have calculated t1 6 by 10 similarly we have to calculate omega 2 what is omega 2 here so here this coefficient the coefficient of time here is 5 pi by 4 so omega 2 equals to 5 pi by 4 what is omega formula 2 pi by t so here this is 2 that's why i have mentioned here t2 so we have obtained what 2 pi by t2 here right so 2 pi by t2 equals to pi pi by 4 now let us simplify this like this okay and we obtain t2 equals to 8 by 5 now next we have to calculate the fundamental period so fundamental period as is notified by t not t zero okay and that is calculated by taking lcm of this time period t1 and t2 okay so lcm of t1 and t2 now what is t1 6 by 10 what is t2 8 by 5 so i have written uh, lcm of 6 by 10 and 8 by 5 now if the numbers are in the form of p by q p by q yani numerator upon denominator then we have to take lcm of the numerators and hcf of the denominator so now let us see how to calculate the lcm of these two numbers you know how to calculate the lcm of the two numbers it's very simple you might have a straight during your primary education so how to calculate the lcm let us see lcm of which two numbers 6 and 8 right 6 and 8 so 6 8 so 2 3 is a 6 2 4 is a 8 now this 3 and 4 are not further divisible by any uh, common number so now let us multiply this 2 with 3 this 4 so lcm is 2 
एच सी एफ सो कमिंग बैक टू दैट पॉइंट वी ऑप्टेन द एल सी एफ ऑफ सिक्स एंड एट दैट इज ट्वेंटी फोर एंड एच सी एफ ऑफ टेन एंड फाइव इज फाइव नाउ लेट एस कैलकुलेट द फंडामेंटल फ्रीक्वेंसी वाई वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग द फंडामेंटल फ्रीक्वेंसी हेयर बिकॉज इन दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन इट इज आज टू फाइंड द फंडामेंटल फ्रीक्वेंसी दैट्स वाई वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द फंडामेंटल फ्रीक्वेंसी सो फंडामेंटल फ्रीक्वेंसी ओमेगा नॉट लाइक फंडामेंटल टाइम पीरियड इज टी जीरो सिमिलरली फंडामेंटल फ्रीक्वेंसी मीन्स ओमेगा जीरो सो दैट इज गिवन बाय टू पाई बाय टी नॉट द फॉर्मूला ऑफ ओमेगा इज टू पाई बाय टी सो टू पाई बाय टी नॉट इज जीरो एंड जीरो दैट्स बाय टू पाई बाय टी नॉट नाउ वॉट इज टी नॉट वैल्यू इट इज ऑलरेडी वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड दैट इज ट्वेंटी फोर बाई फाइव सो वी हैव प्लेस डियर ओमेगा नॉट इक्वल्स टू ट्वेंटी टू पाई बाय ट्वेंटी फोर बाई फाइव सो लेट एस सिंप्लीफाई दिस वन ओके सो दिस फाइव विल गो टू द नमेरेटर पार्ट This two and twenty-four will be cancelled. Twelve, so the final answer is five pi by twelve radian per second. So this is your fundamental frequency. I hope this uh, explanation is clear. Now let us uh, see one similar question. Now here, find the fundamental period of x of t equals to sine two pi by six t minus cos pi by t. So here, like uh, our earlier question, again we have to Uh, find uh, we have to uh, obtain the omega so the coefficient of t is omega this whole part is the coefficient of time t so this is omega t so omega is how much 2 pi by 6 similarly omega 2 is only pi okay so we have obtained omega 1 omega 2 now let us solve this part for the time t1 so similarly omega is 2 pi by t1 so we are getting t1 as 6 by simplifying all this uh i'll see uh, uh, the right hand side uh, right hand side and the left hand side by cross multiplication we obtain t1 equals to 6 second right now for omega 2 2 pi by t2 t2 equals to 2 second again by simplifying it we obtain this t2 equals to 2 second now let us calculate the fundamental period how to calculate the fundamental period if the time periods are more than uh, one we have to calculate their lcm we have to calculate their lcm so lcm of t1 and t2 here t1 and t2 two numbers are there that is 6 and 2 so let us calculate the lcm of 6 and 2 jaise maine pehle samjhaya tha 6 and 2 kaise kaise calculate karte hain so we have to write here 6 and 2 now this is 2 3 is a Multiply two into three into one. This is your six. So t naught is six second. So I hope uh, these two questions are uh, very much uh, clear to understand how to calculate the fundamental period of a signal, which is having more than one signal in a sum. For example, this is signal number one, sine two pi six t, and this is signal number two, cos pi t. So in this case, we are we are seeing what. Numbers signals are more than one, and they are summed together. So in that case, we have to find their individual time periods, and then we have to calculate their LCM to get the fundamental period. Have okay. So that's all for this topic. If any query.